what's good youtube welcome back to my channel as you guys can see by that title i am finally going to get my tires i'm also going to a color party tonight i think i mentioned that to you guys last week and then i'm going to get some food from where i don't know um you guys are looking like you see two different colors well let me just give you guys a little back well right now i'm on the way to get the tires let me just give you a little backstory on the braces so my braces was supposed to came off last year or like the beginning of this year, right? So pretty much what happened was I'm driving, so you guys saw that go. But a little backstory is that, okay, so I had got my braces in October of 2020. So got my braces in 2020, got them put on, I'm supposed to have them on for 18 months. Uh, well, 14 to 18 months, because there was nothing really wrong with my teeth. Um, none of the spacing that I have now, none of that stuff was there. But of course, probably not going to the orthodontics, the spacing and stuff have, have came. So I was going to the orthodontics. I haven't went to, to the orthodontics, I want to say, for about seven months. So with me going to the orthodontics, um, what happened? Going to the orthodontics and it was like May. So May came around, it was the day before my cousin graduation and I broke a bracket. Of course, I know that I get the free brackets and all of that stuff with the orthodontics. Mind you, I had already broke my broke brackets probably like once or twice already. I think I get like five free brackets during my whole treatment. Um, but all in all, um, I went to the orthodontics and get to the orthodontics. And this is now I make the appointment. Um, this is the orthodontic location I've never been to, but of course I needed to get it fixed immediately because I renewed that with the poking and stuff like that. But that's what was going to happen with that back. It was the last back bracket is what came off. I was eating some cherries and the uh, seat of the cherries what broke the bracket off. But anyways, um, get to the orthodontics, the guy put the bracket on wrong. He put it up way too high. So when I was trying to, I was literally trying to explain them that calmly and all before I um left. And I was okay now. I want you guys to notate in the system because I really really has to I really really have to go. Um so if anything does happen, just notate in the system what happened and you know so I won't you know like like the next bracket once this one does break the next bracket doesn't fall on me. They had an attitude and everything like they wasn't trying to hear it. They're the professionals they know it all and it was just it was just a whole lot of whole lot of, and i really just wasn't there for it and then the way that the guy started walking towards me trying to tell me to get out and this that and the third i'll tell him like you walk up on me crazy like we're gonna have an issue like don't walk up on me crazy like he walking up on me yelling at the mouth like don't do that because i'm, I'm being calm and i'm being professional and i'm trying to let you guys know what's going on so then may 2021 was my last orthodontic appointment i tried to find a new orthodontic but i couldn't find a new orthodontic because for one i didn't have insurance i did purchase new insurance however with the insurance i purchased let's talk about the insurance situation so with the new insurance that i did purchase um they pretty much was like one year and then they'll start paying for orthodontic care okay cool that's fine i was like okay cool that's fine because i really wasn't thinking anything was going to really happen or whatever so i waited the year and i um well of course i was close to the year so July 31st would have been the year mark I could start going through and I was going to start paying. The insurance lapsed. Oh my God, y'all. The tire shop is so freaking packed. But anyways, the insurance lapsed. I thought I was paying for insurance the whole time. I got a new bank card and I wasn't paying for it. So now I'm going through an issue with them where I'm like, okay, well, y'all lapsed my insurance. Y'all didn't call me, give me a notice, anything of that nature. So... You know what's really going on here like y'all should have notified me um what was going on the guy said it was nothing too crazy but in my eyes it's too many people in there and i'm going to tell him like I, I can't wait i can't do that way it's just too many people in there like i can't do it um he's trying an hour and 20 minutes no 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 that's gonna be longer than an hour and 20 minutes um but anyways y'all almost hit something and i have a whole backup camera Luckily, it started beeping. But anyway, so that lap, so I got to call them. They said something about a grievery or something of that nature. And um, 
maybe they'll run it concurrent and I can just pay the difference and I'll be able to go to orthodontics. Hopefully that's what we can do. But it was like that whole process can take 30 days. So I'm gonna try to find some insurance where to go through just like that. But it, with, even with that though, like I told you, I was okay, well, for one, I never went and got, I never used the insurance at all. So it has to be something that you guys are able to do. I said, if not, I am gonna call the bank and I am gonna tell them to dispute the charges because that's fraud, pretty much. I didn't use y'all services. And I have to go through a whole process in order to get my money back. But y'all didn't go through a process to take my money. So it's just like insurance and stuff. Like that stuff is like a, a a scam. Like it's really low key a scam. Like, huh? Like it, it really ain't making sense to me. Anyways, y'all, I'm gonna go in this tire shop so they can hold my tires even longer because I can't do this weight. Like it'll be like three something. I mean, three something ain't bad, but I don't think I'm gonna do this way. Like, if they can't get me in and out, like, like I need to be in and out. Like, that's just what I need to be because I really need to be somewhere. And if they can't do that, then this isn't gonna work for me. But um, give me a few minutes and I'll be back with you guys. All right, y'all. So <laughs> I'm back out real quick. So I went in there and then he was like, it was gonna be longer than an hour. In 20 minutes, so I was like, yeah, no, we're not going to try it. We're not going to do anything like that. He was like, we're not going to make an appointment. I was like, yep. So I made an appointment for Monday at 5.15. Now, you guys, I am hungry. So I think I don't know what I want to eat. <laughs> oh, I'm going straight. Okay. Because I don't know what I want to eat. And I don't want to be driving on Washington Road, not know what I want to eat. I think I'm gonna call my cousin and see where she at. Maybe me and her go get some food together. Maybe we'll go to a restaurant or something. So let me call my cousin, you guys, and I'll be back. Also, so many hours later, I have went home and I have took a nap. Um, now I went to the liquor store. Um, my auntie asked me to get some shots, so I went to the liquor store. I got some different shots. Um, now I'm about to head to Dollar Tree to get some gag gifts and get the bag so we're gonna put the gifts inside of or the, whatever the shots or whatever um inside of and i left the games at home so i need to call my sister and have her get the games because i left them there holy cows how did i forget the games i have i literally legit if i went and started vlogging i would have forgot those games legit and like that was real crazy but my games aren't the only games. And I found one of my smells. So we may have a problem, but I'm not going back to. Yeah, I'm not going back to get the game. So my games that I was supposed to bring, I'm not bringing them. So, oh, well. Um, cause I don't know why her phone is going straight to voicemail. But when I get in Dollar Tree, I'll be back, you guys. What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. So as you guys see, today is a whole new day. I have on a lot of different clothes. Wow, well, on different clothes. <laughs> Not a lot of different clothes, I have different clothes. So, went to the color chink, the color party, right? They were playing copyright music. Um, we were setting up and we pretty much had on copyright music the whole entire night. So that is why I did not vlog. However, me not thinking, um, my channel isn't monetized. So, the clip from one of the games that, no, we have a clip from two games. I am going to implement the clips in the video. Um, so you guys will see the clips of that. And then this, we're just going to run these vlogs. We're going to run these vlogs concurrent. Um, I went home earlier um took a shower and stuff then i went and got a, um an acai bowl for work tomorrow um that because that's gonna be my breakfast probably on monday and tuesday because it's a big bowl then i also had well i had breakfast at my aunt's house um because i was toe up to the float up okay crawling up the steps and all legit i was tore up so i had breakfast over my aunt's house and then I ended up going to, um, I mean, then I ended up going to my aunt's mother-in-law house because she's a vegan, so she was cooking some vegan. Well, she really wasn't cooking vegan food. She was doing vegan food um, because, well, she was pretty much, she's going to, she's doing a pop-up shop next week. 
not next week, the week after, the 20th. Um, so I ended up going over there because my cousin said that she was doing stuff, but she really wasn't, but I was like, okay, whatever. Still, I still wanted it, so I just paid her to make me some, um, but her little helper, she gave them some for free. And then, um, what happened? So yeah, then I got there and I ate, it was like one, two, maybe. I ate a, um, a vegan, a veggie burger. It was busting. I'm going to show y'all the veggie burger when I get back home. I'm also going to show you guys the acai bowl. Um, I just arrived back to my aunt's house. So they're cooking dinner here. So my veggie burger will probably be that I got from her. I'll have veggie burger onion rings, but that'll probably be for my lunch tomorrow since they're cooking dinner here. But when I leave here, I'm going back to my other aunt's house. Well, not back. I'm, oh, yeah, because I've been over there already before I came here earlier than I went to look at the house. Now back here. I might give you guys a sneak peek of that house. I might go back to that house. But I'm not going to go alone, though. But, yeah. Um, now I'll do a tour of that house. Um, Because I unlocked some windows. So we can get back up in that thing. So Because that bathroom upstairs is really, really nice. I'm going to tell you all the pros and cons of that house. What I did like and what I didn't like. But... Yeah, we're, oh, we're gonna go back to my house and we're gonna start planning my birthday trip for next year. So, yeah, I'm gonna go in here, um, see what they're doing, may vlog a little bit, and that'll be it. Welcome back to my channel. So, this is a continuous vlog. So, I haven't vlogged in about three days. Um, in the previous one, I did let y'all know that I did not finish that vlog off because I was, um, I got drunk that night, so I didn't finish it out. But I'm about to eat with her. Thank you, Paige, to the vlog. Hey, hey, you gotta sit in my ear. My hey. AirPods, you gotta sit in my ear. Oh, hey, hey. Then I'm out with her and her ghetto daughter. <laughs> she's not an angel, if y'all think she's an angel. She's not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to fuck up. I'm about to fuck up. <laughs> she's not an angel, as you guys can see. She's a little cuckoo. So when we get our food, oh, we're at Texas Roadhouse. When we get our food, y'all, we're gonna show y'all the food. We got our drink, so I got a little water for it now. Um, what you got? What kind of drink you got? <laughs> she got lemonade. She got water. What kind of what kind of drink you got over there? She got an island something, child. And what you got? Water for now. Water for now, y'all. We got water for now. So. I eat my salad. I got the uh, critters, which is chicken tenders, and I got a six ounce sirloin, and I got some fries. Mm -hmm. She got some steak bites mm -hmm. and mashed potatoes. What you got? Steak, and what you got? Steak potatoes. I got me one of them drinks, and I got me a cook away. She got her drink with it too. They food came, but they sent it back because they just special. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, so I just, okay, so I'm gonna show you one more time because there's something wrong with this thing. But this is the entrance. Um, then you come right to the entrance. It is upstairs, downstairs. We're gonna go scrape, we're gonna go this way. So, this right here is a half bath. It doesn't have a mirror yet. Um, it has a lovely floor. So I love this floor. I love this flooring. It has a phenomenal kitchen. When I say this kitchen is nice, it is nice. Um, okay. Soft closed doors. Let's see, it's the drawers. So. It's not giving. Oh, yeah. So, y'all, this house isn't giving half a million. But trust me, it's a half a million dollar house. Okay. Um, it has a nice size pantry. It's not big enough. And y'all, let me tell y'all. So this right here is a house that originally burnt down and they redid it, right? So if you're looking at it, you can see like, you can still tell like all the burnt marks in this house and they just tried to paint over it. Oh yeah. Yeah, they just tried to paint over it. And like all the little different imperfections. So... Whomever do try to buy this house, they're gonna be in for the rude awakening. Um, okay, y'all, it froze. I don't know what happened from the last part, but it has two. I don't know what the hell these are supposed to be. Only supposed to be two dining rooms or what the hell they're supposed to be, but it's not nothing pretty, especially not with this carpet. Okay, no. Anywho, this carpet is not it. Like this carpet just ain't it. 
Not for a dining room, especially. Have these steps. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna walk up the steps. So we have some nice flooring. This is pill and stick. This is most definitely pill and stick. This is pill and stick. Yeah, I don't like that. Thing. They need to stain these railing. And this railing for sure needs to be stained. Oh, that's gonna kill you. What? It's loud. The paint. It's not that loud. Anyway, y'all. So this is the master. Here's a nice. So this is the master bedroom. It's really nice. Have a nice fan. I know that fan can blow. Yeah, I keep stopping. I'm just gonna have storage, so let's go ahead and check out the bathroom. Oh, yeah. And we done. So, you walk into the bathroom. It's really, really nice. It's a great size bathroom. Nice shower. Nice tub. Um, bathroom. A good size closet. <laughs> And y'all, you know what's funny about the size of this closet? This is the size of closet they're making bedrooms nowadays. Literally. Okay, you guys, so I didn't get to finish off this vlog, but I do want to go ahead and say thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And as always, vision without action is a daydream. Go chase your dreams. Peace.